All right, welcome to Advantage Station. We have a very special, special, special guest today, and um, it's just a normal hangout. No thinking too much. Someone very special walked in, and of course, we know if he just allow and do work up us now. We're going to host him right here in our own Advantage way, right? So, please let's welcome the one and the only God is not a man crooner. Oh. Let's welcome to my B. Oh, sure. Welcome, sir. Bless up, my G. Five boss. Advantage station. Yes, yes. We're stationed here. <laughs> so I'm a big, bigger advantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome. It's so, um, it's a proverbial hot seat. The seat is not hot. Only the questions will be a little bit hot. Okay. Uh -huh. So, let's dive right into it. Uh, we want you to tell us, of course, you've done so many songs. Yeah. To you personally, which one is your favorite song? Kogi. Kogi. Featuring Bernard Schroeder and Pokodi. What the hell? Pokokoki, I want the killer telling me stop alone, I'm a guy. Oh, sorry, one a high. Pokokoki, I want the killer telling me stop alone, I'm a guy. Aya, we come on. Which factor makes that your favorite song? Is it Every song? human being around me will tell you if you wake me up from London, I tell you I want to be in Kogi the following day. Uh, I'm a Kogite by blood, by passion, by grind, by hustle, from zero to where I am today. Kogi is everything. Kogi is my New York, bro. <laughs> That's why you sorry, Wally. Yes, so for the boom. <laughs> Can you tell us about your first ever song? Like, why did you? Where I went. I recorded my first song in Mina. Uh, then my, my older brother, who happens to be the CEO of our record label, Sleek, shout out to Sleek. Uh, he was schooling in the very University of Technology in Mina. So I went to see him and uh, uh, there was this studio I went with him. You know, in my family, we're all singers. Wow. Yeah, we started from the choir, but my, my case is quite different because my mom was the, the choir, um, choir mistress. My younger sister was the lead vocalist. My younger brother was a drummer. I sleek. My older brother was the choir master. I was a secretary. <laughs> and you uh, sort of, okay. You know, so, so and, and I'm the least, you know, of I missed these guys. Wow. You need to hear Sleek sing. You need to hear KK. That's my youngest. Wow. You know, so we started from Detroit. But I got my first song in me now. I remember. Area, Ninja. And I don't know, I don't <laughs> You know, but, well, I mean, it was a beautiful experience. And that was how it started for me. Can you tell us the memory you have from childhood? Something that stayed with you up till now? Yeah, see, ever since I was young, I used to be this go-getter. I, I, I don't take no for an answer. And I've always been that man who wants to be where I want to be. Mm. Not minding your opinion or what your opinion is. You know, I remember when I was young, I was telling my, my, my friend yesterday in the car, there was a place he took me to. It used to be a restaurant when I was very young. I remember the place because there was a day my father was traveling and um, I hopped in the boot to his consent. Then when we go to a place called the, in the boot, boot of the car. Yeah. Okay. I locked myself in it because he didn't want to take me along. You know, my father has always been a politician. <laughs> <laughs> he travels a lot. So wow, wow, wow. I locked myself in the boot of the car. Nobody knew. Mm. But when we got to a place, I remember that place very well. Okay, but I couldn't breathe properly. So I was hitting the car from. You know the boot, so they had to pack. What's going on? Then he saw me. I was dressed though, my canvas. That's a big job. I wear yellow and green. Yellow. That's a, a, so he bonded me. Man, so okay. it's like, so it's not him to get angry. He started laughing and put me in the car. So why I remember that scenario was when I went to that restaurant yesterday. Wow. So it's not what it used to be. This thing happened like uh, twenty restaurant years ago. Operation. Yeah. So when I got there yesterday, I told the guy. I said, I, I remember this place. My father brought me when I was very very young. Yeah. Then. So, because when we got to Nuku, I was very hungry. But that brought you, huh? you, you know, you know, I followed my father. <laughs> you know, you remember Mori Bay restaurant? Mori Bay, yeah. oh my God. That's where my father took me to. Wow. You know, so, and, and I mean, that's, that's, like, that's like one experience I will never forget. Mm -hmm. But that spirit has always been a driving force for me. That's where I'm where God has put me and where he's taking me. So if you want to give a shout out, for instance, who would you say is the next big artist? Shout out to Jay Teaser. As a young yeah. kid, they're actually in King Kobilo. Okay. Yeah, these are my boys. Shout out to Malik Souls. You know, they're, they're the future of Nigerian music. Mm -hmm. You heard that? They're doing so well. There are lots of guys that are doing well. Shout out to First Class. Okay, First Boy, Class. JLC, yes. he's creative. He's not mm -hmm. just, he's an entertainer. That's the, that's the Gen Z fella. Yeah, I, 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 are your mouth. Are your mouth. Okay. Yeah, I fuck with him heavy. I love it. I love his songs. He's very creative. I love it when you understand music. Music. You know, I don't just sing. There must be something about your contents that you can defend in 20 years. Right. Unless I fall. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming real hard. Okay. Shout out to 911. That girl, 
Like nine one one. one. Yeah, he okay. urgent. She's coming. Okay. No problem. Yeah, yeah, we'll call the fire department. I'll remind you when she comes because she's coming with that name. You need fire to quench her. We say you need water to quench her fire. But this one, you can't even quench it. Right. 911 is coming real hard. All right. Yes, sir. All right. You heard it, 911. Yeah. Watch out for the emergency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you are not on the road, you are not singing, you are not performing, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, move is properly. I, I'm, a cin- I'm a cinema person, but I go at weird times. I love to visit the cinema about 8, 13, 9. Well, we're just like four or five of us in the in <laughs> right, yeah, selective cinema. Yeah, I, I, these days, I, I, I mean, I think I'm more into fashion. I love, I've been creating over time, okay. You know, and there's, there's a brand that where we branding Juma Bay inspires clothes, yes, okay, basically. So, wow, yeah, as a new line coming, yes, sir. Okay, it's been in existence, but we're rebranding, rebranding, okay, awesome. When was the last time you cooked? Uh, last week. Concussion, right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, but, but there was a time I became a proper chef when I was stopped in London for eight months during COVID. You became the cook. Okay, well, teach person now. No, no, I've been. How is right? Yeah. Uh, then, but there was a day in the podcast. So I'm free to say the truth. Of course, oh, of course. So now you go and make a talk pigeon. We can't go one day. We go and cook. I don't know. Say the oil where I use fried chicken. The oil where I use cook the begusi. The oil where I use for even the stew and mm. uh, cannabis oil. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Matt P, Tinis, these boys, Sib. These are my friends in London. Yeah. Crazy guys, they don't know I don't cook finish. They go, they say, I don't know, I don't smoke, I don't do You cooked it all. Uh, I uh, constantly don't chop the thing. But at the last time I remember with that. that. Just to say I chop, but I don't wash hands till the following day. That's what the break the high energy. You exercised your right to remain silent. Yeah. <laughs> well, for me, I mean, for over six months, I was cooking every day. Right. I was at like, contact for burger and all those. Who is your celebrity crush? I don't have any funny enough. None. Because I've crushed all my crush. Oh. Uh, okay. I was about to say God when, but <laughs> we'll come back there another time. <laughs> I don't talk about we'll, we'll come back there another time. <laughs> All crushes crushed. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, what's highest on your bucket list? So, okay. So let me let me be very factory here. Mm. I'm I'm not a bucket list person. I, I don't know what I don't know how to put it, but when I want a thing done, no matter how it yeah, appears, yeah, but I just get it done. So I don't really I'm worried when it comes to exercising. You don't keep it so on side. No, you conceive you. I think they go no time, master. Well, anything will come, baby, come. <laughs> you know, but it should is. Okay. Human, I understand the power of growth. All right. All right. Put it to you that I am not where I was. Absolutely. So I'm headed somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, next round of questions, I'm going to be quick fire. It's just this or that. Okay. Right? Akara, oh my, my. Oh my. Without thinking. No, I don't know. I'll be not full. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Whiskey or David? Whiskey, David. Which one is the reason they reach? <laughs> you all launch new ads. But they're my friends, so you can't, you can't put me on that spot. Uh, Which they reach? Okay, okay. Messi or Cristiano? Cristiano. Cristiano. I love him because he's an extrovert. Mercy is to Now he's a boy. Uh-uh. Uh, but Cristiano, uh-uh. Cristiano is like my kind of person. Me, I love, I love girls. That means your choice is not football. Cristiano likes women. Me, I like girls. All right. Music or food? Musical. Because music brings food. We <laughs> say <laughs> wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. That's still you cook. It's still remaining, but I did. I'm mostly <laughs> okay. Lagos or Abuja? I used to be Lagos, but now Abuja because my sanity is coming back into life. So somebody posted today if you're supposed to live for one twenty years in Lagos. Lagos will come out 20 years. Okay. You will die at 100. Okay. But because Lagos is not for the normal people. True. Mm-hmm. True. Afrobeats or I'm a piano? Afrobeats, of course. I'm a piano will soon be off the scene. I'm not even a fan of it. Do you have a favorite Nigerian DJ? Yeah, I do. Who is that? DJ Bando, of course. That's my that's my brother. That's, yes. that's, 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 that's somebody that has planted that seed that is growing into me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's shake some tables. Governor of Kogi State or Grammy Awards winner? Kite, Okay, so so I'll be very factual. The the peak of entertainment is Grammy. Yeah. 
Huh? But be you anybody, be it Western or Africa, the end of life is politics. And I, I will dissect that for you properly. Okay. Even in the Western world. Yeah. You see, politics is politics when it comes to party uh, practice. But in real life, even here in this organization, it's politics, right? Everybody's looking out for who's the best man. No way. That's how it works. So for me as a person, I didn't I didn't used to like politics, even if I was born into it. But now I think I'm finding my faith in it to an extent because that is like the fastest I've been to reach out to people. In as much as there's always a misconception, you got everybody like you, you know, but the few people that you're able to reach out genuinely, you know, it has this connection that makes God happy when you affect life, no matter how my name it is. So for me, I would tell you that uh, grammar is important, but politics is more important. Okay. So as political as your answer, which one has you? Which one has you? No, of course. I don't want to call out. No, I'm going to let you be a rep. I don't know if it is thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. This one goes, of course, uh, to the end of time, but to be a crime not to ask it, love or money? Okay, so I'm not a believer of love anymore. I'm a man of preacher of love. Yeah, I used to. But you know, it fades with time. And I'm not, again, a diehard fan of money because I don't respect it. Okay. And when you don't respect money, it will never leave you. He only said that woman where you don't send to you. He's not just a woman where you don't send that they rush to you. So regardless, okay. I'm not really I'm not really a money money person. Mm. But I'm I'm okay, I'm comfortable. And that is the mission. That is the vision. I mean of okay. Okay. our uh, advantage station. In other words, you love yeah. money. I love money. <laughs> but not over my life though. <laughs> of course. Okay, okay. Just to wrap this up. Um, what should Juma Beans be looking out for? What's next? Okay, so uh, Juma Beans Spires is in the works. It's in works already, uh, two months to go. But this year, we're trying to take it a bit higher from the regular kind of concepts you you guys are used to. Uh, shout out to Elami Adenuga. He's putting in so much work uh, backstage. We're sketching and logs. Uh, we want to involve the youths more this, this year. I want to have an affiliation with students. And um, of course, um, they become in this team, uh, Advantage Station. I'm going to work with you guys this year. We need people. We need new ideas. You know, because it's a free concert. It's a charity concert. It's about adding lives, value lives. lives. You know, so yeah. uh, we've been able to do that consecutively for four straight years. And we're hopeful that, you know, for every year there are new innovations. We're introducing the football match this year. We're hoping again that we'll be able to increase the uh, number of uh, students that, that are in scholarship. You need 60 students every year. So we're hopeful that we can like, be able to add 30, 30. Or 10 10 on, you know, some 90 students mm -hmm. from the three senatorial districts. You know, we just live for humanity, basically. That's, that's the success of life. Nothing else. True. All right. So, cheers to Jamai B. Inspires. Oshe, by hiring more people. Oshe, Oshe. And you need more bridges. All right. Thank you so much. Shout out to my station. Is my station, so I'm taking that. Let's go. <laughs>